welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And we are back for another um, Get Fit With Me series. Yes, it's been a while. I know it's been a while. And um, this is Get Fit With Me series yoga edition. And we are back. Um, I took two weeks off uh, just because <laughs> I started this YouTube channel a little bit over a year ago. So probably around mid-February, like the beginning to mid-February. And I've just been full steam ahead. Like creatively, I've been together more than ever. And not only do I have the Get Fit With Me series stuff going on, I review some of my favorite TV shows as well. And I have grown this channel better than what I've expected. It's still, I still will love to grow up more, of course. but. I, you know, feel like slow and steady wins a race after all. But <clears throat> with that being said, because I was constantly going, 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 along with trying to keep my fitness together and the stress of my regular nine to five job and having a life, it was a lot. So I took the time to have the break. And um, for those who follow my life updates, I'm going to have another opportunity to have a break fairly soon. So I'll be nice and refreshed and you'll get to follow that journey. And so anyway, this video is kind of dedicated towards that because I am in the middle of transitioning to a new chapter in my life. Um, getting older, it's a milestone birthday, but also... Um, I am transitioning out of my corporate role that I have with my company. Um, I am not planning on becoming a full-time YouTuber, not yet, <laughs> but um, I, yeah, I've been with my company for over 11 years, so, or going on 11 years, so it's been, it's going to be a shift, <laughs> and, but I'm ready for it, and I'm ready to take that time off, take advantage of the time off. And yeah, become like distress a little bit, unplug a little bit. Um, but with that being said, because there's a lot of changes and there's been a lot of things that's went on with my life in general, not just with work. Um, for those who are aware, last year I did um, lose a loved one. Um, so this is definitely um, dedicated to those who've ever had, you know, who is going through that right now, or if you're mourning just like your old life, wherever your old life is, or wherever that is for you, that this is a video that spoke to me and is called Yoga for Grief and Sadness. Although I'm not sad now, I'll be honest with you, and I've shared this before, when I did get the news that <laughs> I will be, I have to transition, because it was not by choice when it came to the company, um, I, um, yeah, I was kind of bittersweet. Like I'm relieved now, but at the time it was very much bittersweet because I just been grinding, 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 overworking, overworking, overworking. And I, and this is like a pattern I feel like a lot of us do where we make us working and being like very much go-getter as part of our personality. And that doesn't have to be that. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, it is clearly, but it doesn't have to be to a, to a detriment. And I, I'll be honest, it felt like it was. So to me, I see it as a blessing in disguise, but I still feel like I do have a lot of things I'm holding on to that I would love to let go of. And hopefully this practice does that. And this is by... I haven't reviewed her for a while, um, Eerie of Vitality. Um, I'm hoping they go back to doing stuff on YouTube because they were newer to YouTube, at least when it came to like the yoga videos, but I enjoyed them so much. And this was the last video that she did before she was gone. So I'm assuming she was dealing with it herself. Um, hopefully she has taken some time and she gets back to it because I did enjoy re doing her routines and reviewing them. So anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get into the video. On this practice today, we are going to start in an extended child's pose. And m most of this practice will be on the ground. 
um, a lot of slow, deliberate movements, a lot of breathing. Ex there are some breathing exercises within this practice. And it's all about de-stressing and letting go of grief. So I hopefully you enjoy the practice. And that's all.
Hello. We are back. And yes, so that does conclude the video. And I didn't quite do it how she did it clearly. Um, I have Whisper and um, I noticed and I, need, I, I think I should never go two weeks or longer without yoga because clearly Whisper and <laughs> see, see what she does here. Whisper here. Um, clearly she misses doing yoga with me. You saw that, right? So I was doing that routine, trying to let go. And in a weird way, because my pets are my emotional support animals, like it was like a double whammy. So I definitely feel a lot better doing that routine and um, how I review it. Um, so one to 10, for those who are new to this, I review this. So I'm going to give it, um, A nine. I'm going to give it a nine. I really enjoyed it. Um, even the lighting was different than how she normally does things, but it made sense for what the routine was about, letting go, grief. So it was a little bit more of a somber ambiance that she had going on there. Um, the, the lighting wasn't the best, though. So... You know what, I am going to drop it down to 8.5 because lighting wasn't the best, but I'm still, I'm still thinking maybe grief is something that is interesting, right? So I felt good doing the routine. I feel a lot better. I feel like I have a lot more energy. I don't feel like I didn't do anything today because I feel like I just been in my house all day and that's one of my least favorite things. And, um, but soon I will be released of that because... <laughs> The way I'm counting down me being done with my current role. I hate to call a thing a thing, but that is what I'm doing. Um, but maybe that is part of the grieving process, right? So, see how I tied it, tied all that together. But anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, channel if you get anything out of the content. As usual, I'll put her link in the description so you can check out her other videos. She doesn't have that many because she was fairly new to doing YouTube. And then I hope she comes back and does more because I really did enjoy her videos. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye. I need some chapstick, child. I'll fix it later. And we already know the hair, right? Anyway, bye. <laughs>